Hello again, YouTube. It's your favorite dentuary. I wanted to address a couple of things today. Um, I've been getting some really fantastic emails and messages from people that um, my videos are really helping, and that is that is awesome. That is the the main point of me making all these videos is to help people with the progression of having dentures. Uh, something I might not have made completely clear in some of my videos is when I went in and had my surgery, they tore out 25 teeth and a bunch of broken nubs and they filed my jaw bones down and they stitched up my gums. So my jaws are actually, my jaw bones are actually smaller than they would have been if they would have just pulled my teeth and put my dentures in. Um, the issues that I've gone through are issues that people will have if they have their jaw bones shaved the way I did. Now I know there's there's some people out there that just have issues with dentures um, even after they've just had their teeth pulled. Here's the thing it's going to take six months, minimum six months, for your, everywhere they left a hole where they pulled out a denture, or <laughs> everywhere there's a hole where they pulled out a teeth, the bones have to heal and fuse together to fill in that hole. While the bones are doing that, the bones are going to shrink because they're not being held apart and held in place by teeth anymore. So the bones are going to shrink and fuse together and fill in holes. By that token, the gums are also going to shrink. So anytime you get immediate dentures, your gums are going to continue to shrink for a minimum of six months. So the dentures are not going to fit right after a couple of weeks. They're just not going to fit right. Now, I've been in uh, conversation with a, a very wonderful person that has told me that she keeps going in and having soft relines done on her dentures, and they just can't get them right. Um, one of the issues that a lot of people that have sent me messages have been talking to me about is the soft relines. Now, keep in mind that I have not had a soft reline yet. I'm going to do that at the three month mark. I'm getting by by using a ton, ton of glue on this top denture. And the reason I'm getting by with it is because I learned to do a trick. I take my teeth out for five or six hours of an evening which gives my gums plenty of time to breathe. And by the way, I actually enjoy the feel of ice cream on my bare gums because when you're eating ice cream with dentures, it makes your tongue cold and that's it. You can't feel it on the roof of your mouth, can't feel it on your gums, can't feel it anywhere. So I do actually like to eat my ice cream without my teeth in. Uh, it feels real good on the gums. Um, anyway, aside from that, <laughs> got off on a tangent and forgot what I was talking about. Aside from that, the um, the soft relines. Now there are some places out there that will start doing soft relines the minute your dentures get loose. They'll do a soft reline, and then a week later they got to do another one, and a week later they got to do another one, and a week later they got to do an, and so on down the line. The soft relines that those agencies use are the cheapest shit they can get a hold of because they know they've got to do it over and over and over and over again. My particular dental agency is going to do one soft reline on the third of next month, and that will get me through for three months. I may still have to glue, but I won't have to use as much glue. Right now, I'm going through a tube of glue every three or four days. Once they do the soft reline, and that fills in all that empty space in that denture, and just like my bottom denture, when they remade it in week five, 
it fit perfect in week six week six when I went and picked it up it fit perfect now it's loose because my gums are still shrinking so I do have to use glue on the bottom on occasion depending on what I'm what I'm eating I don't use a lot of glue because the denture still fits really well it doesn't fit perfect anymore but it still fits better than the original did trust me so I'm not going to have them reline the bottom one because I think I can get through with it until May. Um, they're going to do the soft reline on the top one and that'll work for me for probably two or three weeks. Maybe I can squeeze through for a month before I have to start gluing because your gums shrink less and less as time goes on. Now since I'm not even at my three month mark yet and that will be February 3rd, um, That'll be halfway through my shrinking period, okay? Now, your gums will shrink like a son of a bitch the first three months. Then they slow down because the bones are fusing together. So, your gums will shrink down around your bones and everything, and then your bones will shrink. And then, as your bones start actually filling in the spaces and fusing together, the progression of shrinkage slows down. So that's why my doctor told me to wait three months before I get the soft reline. Um, my doctor doesn't want me seeing waste, see me wasting a, a shitload of money, reline after reline after reline after reline. He's a very, very good doctor. And he's, he's very compassionate about the price of the dentures and the issues that people deal with. Now, I do understand that some of you are having issues and I had a message from a gentleman that has had his dentures for over a year. He waited the eight weeks to have the dentures made, but he has not gone back to the dentist and he just can't get them comfortable. Well, even if you wait the eight weeks to get your dentures made, your gums are still going to shrink for another four months. They shrink for six months total. So... He probably didn't know that. Um, I've sent him a message. I've talked to him. I've explained the situation to him. He's going in in a couple of weeks to have a reline done on his dentures, and he's going to let me know how that works out. They're going to do a hard reline. It's been a year since he had his dentures, and he never went back. And when he started looking through his dental plan, his, he's already paid for the hard reline. He just didn't know it. He thought it was going to cost him a fortune. He went and called his doctor. He was looking through the dental plan, called his doctor and said, do I get a reline on these dentures? The doctor told him, yes, we've been waiting for you to call us to come in and have it done. It's been a year. So he gets to go in and have his hard reline done and then his dentures will fit absolutely perfect. I don't think he'll have any more issues after that. But he's been struggling for a full year because of lack of information. You have to talk to your doctor. Okay, that's what they're there for. Um, the lady that I'm corresponding with now has not gotten very clear answers from her doctor. So I, I told her, I said, next time you go to the doctor, simply ask him, when do I get my permanent dentures? If he says, well, these are your permanent dentures, then you know that's all you're going to get. So... You should be able to use those the same way I'm using mine. They should be strong enough to eat everything. So, you know, if you have to glue the shit out of them to get them to hold until you can get the, the hard reline done or a good permanent or a good temporary reline done at the at the six month mark or the three month mark or whatever, um, they should be able to do a hard reline at the six month mark. Your gums are done shrinking, the dentures should fit fine after that. So, with that in mind, um, it's not just this one person. I've had several people contact me and ask me why I don't get soft relines done. And the simple fact is that the soft reline will only last a week or so maybe two weeks at the most because your gums are still shrinking now with me I can put my dentures in before I go to bed in fact I just put them in 
about half an hour ago and the top one's still a little loose because um, the glue's not set yet and it takes a few hours for that glue to set up just because of the fact that I have to use so much so in effect I'm, a, I'm basically doing a soft reline on my dentures every night um, when I go to bed with my dentures in and I clench because that's what I do I grit when I sleep it presses all that glue into every little nook and cranny of those gums every little crack every little crevice every little hole every little pit every bump okay and it hardens overnight while I'm gritting my teeth so when I get up in the morning that denture's solid it doesn't move all fucking day I can eat apples I can do everything now the bottom one because it's been four weeks now almost five since I had it remade is becoming a little bit of an issue again it's starting to loosen up and I expected that what I don't want to do is I don't want to have to deal with having a soft reline done and the expense of that and then have to turn around and have the hard reline done again in a month or three months so I will deal with the bottom one and having to glue it a little bit and I will deal with the top one for now until I get the soft reline done and then I should be okay for a week or so maybe two I don't know I may be I may be get through a month with the soft reline but after that I'm gonna have to start gluing it now somebody had mentioned that they're having an issue getting the glue to stick to their dentures I also had that issue at one point what I've started doing is I got a bottle of the cheapest mouthwash I could find that says compare to Listerine okay and the reason I did that is because I don't use it in my mouth what I do after I polydent my after I soak my dentures in polydent and everything else and I rinse them with thoroughly hot water as hot as you can fucking stand out of the faucet you're not gonna warp your dentures the only way you can warp these dentures is if you boil them for 20 or 30 minutes you're not gonna hurt these dentures using hot tap water okay so after I rinse them and brush them and, and clean them and everything else and get it you know all the polydent juice off of them and all of that I take that cheap ass cheap cheap shit right and I pour about that much of it in the cup and I drop the top denture in there and I leave it in there for five minutes then I pull it out set it on the counter and I drop the bottom one in there and I leave it in there for five minutes and I pull it out and I let them both air dry the reason I do that is because the alcohol in that shit will thoroughly eliminate any film and any crap you've got on those dentures all of it it'll kill any bacteria it'll eliminate any film or residue that the soap or the tablets or whatever else you're using leaves on your dentures and doesn't allow the glue to stick now the other thing I do is you have seen in my cleaning video I didn't show the the mouthwash trick because I've 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 been doing that for so long that I didn't even think about it and I don't have to do it all the time I only have to do that when my when the glue doesn't stick to the denture the glue will stick to the gum like crazy and the denture will just fall out of your fucking mouth and there won't be a bit of glue in it and I've had that happen at that point it's time to use that cheap ass mouthwash <laughs> after you clean your dentures soak them in that for five minutes because it'll kill any residue that's left on your dentures and you're going to get residue on your dentures it doesn't matter what you do doesn't matter how good you think you're cleaning them you're gonna end up with residue on your dentures so that's a trick I learned um, what else was there oh yeah somebody had sent me a mail an email saying that my videos were boring Okay. I should have some music in the background or I should have some dancing girls or some shit uh, to spice up the videos well these videos are not for entertainment purposes these videos are for educational purposes for people that are looking for to get dentures or or <clears throat> considering going through the procedure of having the dentures or somebody that know somebody that's going to go through the procedure that they can help like the 
the nurse in Boston or the doctor in Boston that's that's helping her patients using these videos. That's fantastic. I love that. It was also commented to me that I speak rather well with my dentures. And I've I really never paid attention to people talking with dentures until I got my dentures. And my second week having my dentures somebody had mentioned that I don't have the denture lisp okay I had no idea what that meant until I started watching videos about people that have dentures um, apparently it is difficult for people to learn how to speak with dentures here's here's a trick that I did watch regular people talk just watch regular people speak. You'll notice you see their tongue all the damn time. Why? Because they're using the front teeth. Teeth. Something we're not used to doing if we've had bad teeth or if we have uh, didn't have any teeth. We're not used to using the front teeth. So what happens is people want to use the, the roof of their mouth. Now, if you use the roof of your mouth to speak, this is what you're going to sound like. Now, if I'm not using my top teeth like I'm supposed to, I'll have a denture lisp. And everybody will know that I'm wearing dentures. So I don't do that. Okay? Use the teeth that are there. That's what they're there for. Aside the fact that they're there for eating. Another issue that people have is somebody had mentioned to me that, and, and, and I had mentioned it in, in one of my first videos, there are certain words that you have to learn how to repronounce because your tongue, believe it or not, you use it, all this muscle under here when you're speaking. You use all that muscle and it's all connected to your tongue and everything else and it'll push on that bottom denture. Now, there's a couple of techniques that I've learned to do and one is I've I know this sounds crazy I stick my tongue out as far as I can until I can't until I couldn't stand the pain on the bottom of the tongue anymore I'd be sitting watching a movie or something and I would just stick the tongue out force it out as hard as you I mean like you're trying to lick the wall from 10 feet away okay and I would do that until I couldn't stand the pain under my tongue, and then I'd relax it. Okay, and then when it would quit hurting, I would do it again. The reason is, is because now you have something in the way of those muscles, that tissue under there. Not the muscle, but the tissue. And you have to stretch that tissue in order to be able to use your tongue properly and not have it forcing that bottom denture to move around every time you say words like cold or conglomerate or boil. <laughs> Certain words you say are going to fuck with that bottom denture and try to knock it out of your mouth. If you're gluing, you don't have to worry about that. But if you're wearing them loose and it's in your, in your first few weeks, there are certain words that you say that are going to have an effect on that bottom denture. So... What I suggest is try to avoid those words um, for now. <laughs> <clears throat> or you can do the tongue trick like I did and just stretch the shit out of that tissue under the bottom of that tongue. So it's not coming up and pushing on that denture all the time. Okay, I think that's about it for today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And, yeah, send me a message if, you, if you're so inclined. Okay? Have a great day. Hope these are helping. It's your favorite denture wearer signing off.